Hi, John Ason, Director of Instruction down here at 3D Golf Performance. And once again, we are continuing our segment on controlling the golf club. And if you want to control that golf ball, you must learn how to control the factors that influence the power and direction of the golf ball. The final conversation we're going to have is about the club face. And this may be the most important aspect to controlling the golf ball at least at the beginning. The club face is controlled through a flat left wrist. So basically with a neutral grip in place, having a flat left wrist through impact will guarantee the most ideal club face condition through the ball. If it's bent, it can change the angle by up to 45 degrees. If it's arched, it can also change the angle up to 45 degrees. So we want a flat left wrist. Now the idea being that if we had a flat left wrist during the swing, it would be a lot easier to understand and feel how the flat left wrist controlled the constant rate at which the club face was rotating through the ball. See the way my club face is rotating, and if it's flat throughout the swing, then it will be easier for you to judge that because there'll be less compensating motion in the downswing or the backswing to hopefully get that wrist back in line with the face. So, again, back to our short grip drill into our setup, one to two, and again, the pressure points on the right heel and left heel working down and the right heel working against the glove thumb should give the shaft structure so that the club face stays in line with my left wrist. You can see the position I have it in there. So one to two, and then as I wind at the top of the backswing, you can see that the club face and the left wrist are basically still in line. One to two, two to three, and once again, what I'm going to try to do from here is make sure that my left wrist remains flat as I come back down and through the golf shot. If anything, I might have a little bit of an arch, but never a bend to the left wrist. A little bit of an arch would be okay. You'd see the shaft pointing a little bit towards one o'clock or a yard or so to the right. And this will allow you to compress that ball and work into what we consider to be a knuckles down position on the other side. So you want to do this drill again, short grip, without the golf ball, get comfortable with it, then go to your practice zone here where you've got your feedback from the launch monitor and set it up. Go one to two, two to three, and let it go. And again, I'm trying to feel that down swing where I can get my knuckles down. So in this case, I got six degree path inside out. 3 degree open face, that's exactly half and that's what I'm aiming for. So those are my target numbers. You can do the drill in variations where you can focus on getting a flat left wrist at the top and feeling like you're at impact at the top of your swing. So again it's one to two, two to three and really feel it there and then be able to go from there through to the knuckles down position. So one to two, two to three, and right through into your follow through where you can sense the knuckles going down. You'll always have a flat left wrist if you accomplish that rolling or knuckles down position going through the golf ball. So good luck with those drills, good golfing, and of course, enjoy that hit.